this here is just, is looking at me. Can you just appreciate what we're actually looking at here right now? Hello everyone, welcome back to Food Review Club, and more importantly, welcome to Rome. Now we're kicking off this trip at probably uh, widely considered the most famous bakery in the entire city, four generations, been here for donkey's years, fantastic place. And I read another food blog, and he said in that room there, is his favorite place in the entire world. For a foodie, it is special. Now, Callum, we've got a little feast on our hands, but before I show you, before we tuck in, let's go and have a little look at Roscoli on the inside, because this is something very, very special. I think you guys will enjoy it. So we've got over here, all these sort of like signature pastries, and everything is weighed. They literally chop it up in the, out of these trays and they weigh it. It's done on a price per weight, not a price per product. Madness. Come and have a look. You've got all these sort of breads, your hams, beautiful stuff down there. Pastas, look. And as you work your way around, it comes to the flatbreads. If you come to the front here, you can see you can see how deep that actually is. This is huge, genuinely, absolutely amazing. Now let's eat. Right, so this is what we've got. I had to get one of the bruschetta rolls. I had to. White pizza cut in half, bruschetta stuffed in it, and then you've got the signature pizza. Yes, that's right. It doesn't have any cheese. Unbelievable. So. That is a signature pastry, sour cherry, ricotta, cut into a slice, weighed, just magic, absolutely magic. And then, then we whipped out the camera. We paid for all this, I'll tell you how much that was. Whipped out the camera and then she's brought out this as a freebie. That's like the, uh, that's like their signature breakfast there. Mortadella ham and white pizza. All of this is so simple. That uh, porchetta has got no sauce, no butter, no salad leaves, nothing. That's just how it came. Can't believe it. And drink watch. <laughs> you want this? Little bad boy. Is it like ice Peach? Tea? I think so, yeah, mate. Um, and all of this, Callum, was 18 euros. What? I think that's pretty good. I was expecting 30 or 40, like, it's got the famous name. But no. It's not bad. Well, yeah, not bad at all. Right, first things first, mate. This here is just, is looking at me. Can you just appreciate what we're actually looking at here right now? At Porchetta was, I had the first cut of the joint and it came off. Looks like they're cooking it on a rotisserie as well. So it's all the fats and the juice are gonna be rolling around. Here we go, you ready? My first bite of food since getting to Rome. Oh my God. What? Oh my God. It's super salty. It's got loads of texture because they've got that sort of properly puffed crackling melts in your mouth, giving that texture. And then, of course, the, the white pizza. Solid on the outside, spongy as you like on the inside. What, is, this is like magic. And then you've got this like, this bruschetta that's deep, and rich. All right, the flavor's been impregnated. It's like, it's like the ultimate hog roast roll. <laughs> it is. When you go down to the local, uh, local fair. That was a big crunch. What a product. Amazing. All right. Wow. I just keep giving. There's like layers to the flavour. You get a really salty initial hit, and then more you, as you're chewing and breaking down the dough and the rest of the meat, it like breaks down and you get that sort of sweetness to it. Wow. All right. Now, this is kind of what we came for, I suppose. This. 
pizza without cheese. Tomato bread. <laughs> you just call this tomato bread? This is basically what it is, isn't it? So the options. They've got a potato version, a ham and cheese version, the ha lots of ham on that, lots of cheese. There's a, a regular version with cheese on, like a, this with cheese. And everyone is buying this. That's what they're buying, Callum. And they literally stand them up like paddles and just cut, just like, they don't roll it out, they use a knife and just cut straight through it. Like long ways, it's madness. So I don't know what to expect here, bro. Nicely cooked, look. The sauce is thick, it's gonna be packed full of flavor, no doubt. Here we go. Lots of herbs, herbs. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't need juice. That in itself has got tons of herb, garlic, oil, oregano. It just works. The dough is remarkable. Oh, wow, that's more of Pizza with no cheese. Up the Romans. Look, this is the sort of ancient, probably the sort of ancient food where pizza actually came from, like that. In the original. The city is 28 centuries old. Epic. And walking around, you can tell. Beautiful. Beautiful. I suppose let's try this as well. This is what she brought out as mortadella, white pizza, not been toasted like that. It's a lot softer. It's a ham sandwich, huh? Yeah? Oh my god. Nope. It's like um, the food's really simple. Simple but delicious. Simple but high end. Like when you've got that quality of bread, that white pizza as they call it, you can put anything in it. It's got a remarkable. Crazy crunch. It's flaky, it's crispy. And at the same time, I'm gonna say a contradictory statement, it's also soft on the inside. <laughs> you get both. Literally incredible. Right, drink watch, then we're gonna do some pudding. Skills. Skills. Here we go. Let's go. It's a cute bottle. It's like an old school Coke bottle. Oh my god, it's like a peach tea. Peach juice. Perfectly chilled, nice and refreshing, and it's gonna set me up for this. So they've got, as you would have seen, tons of pastries. I said, which one is the one you uh, are famous for? She said this. Sour cherry and ricotta. There we go, look, look at that. Feels heavy, feels dense. I'm excited for this. Mm, not my favorite. Ooh. That ricotta is a bit. Not too bad. Not my favourite. All right. Well, time for a score. This is it. A fantastic eye opener. Yes. Best thing I've ever put in my mouth. No. Delicious. Uh, historical. Fun. Good value. Best thing I've ever eaten? No. Um, this here is white pizza bread with the, um, that pork inside. Stunning, absolutely stunning. The bakery experience. Incredible. First review in Rome. Happy with that, guys. If you've enjoyed this content at all, by the way, make sure you subscribe and like this video if you haven't already. We are majorly investing in our content for you guys, so fingers crossed you're enjoying it. Now, time for a score, Callum. Um, Roscoli, Rome. I'm gonna give this a, a, like a fox solid for the food I've had today. If I was doing them in individually, this would be like a, an eight. This would be a, a, a big fat nine. 
the dessert, seven. That there, nine. The shop experience, 10, 10 though. Amazing inside. This is like iconic place and I can see why. Overall, I wanted to give this like a, I think an eight, an eight, uh, an eight four. Overall experience, 8.4. What a way to start our journey in Rome. Ladies and gents, thank you for watching another review. We've got some absolute crackers lined up over the next few days. So stay tuned, thanks for watching, and that is a review. People licking your lips, checking the dips. Uh, we're checking out the best of the bunch so you can get your best breakfast, dinner, or lunch. It's Matt D and Jess coming with the food review. We've been traveling, trying to find the best foods for you. Yeah, now that's a review.